Hello, YouTube family. We're yeah. on the TNT duel. All right, YouTube friends. This is Thomas and Tony's little fort where we do story time sometimes. And we usually have our table there. So did you guys pick a book? Okay. All right. So the little astronaut, Franklin and the thunderstorm. And what's this one, Tony? The fire truck? Okay. All right, let's go read them. Franklin and the thunderstorm. Okay. Franklin and the thunderstorm. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He could name the months of the year and all the seasons. He could read the thermometer and he checked the barometer every day. Franklin worried about the weather because he was afraid of storms. So that's Franklin. And he's very anxious, right? Because he's afraid of the storm. One day, Franklin was supposed to play at Fox's house, but the sky was getting dark and the clouds were thick. Maybe I shouldn't grow, Franklin said to his mother. She looked out the window. It probably won't rain until later, she said. You have time to go to Fox's. Franklin put on his boots and took his umbrella. So there's Franklin. He's ready to go where? You forgot this one. Yeah, and this is Franklin talking to his mom. And he's and now he's going to his friend's house. Daddy, you have to read this one. Yeah, we read that one. That's this piece. This talks about the whole story. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. See the clouds? As Franklin hurried to Fox's house, he kept looking at the sky. The clouds moved quickly, and wind swirled dirt in the air. Franklin felt all jumpy inside. He was getting worried from that storm now, wasn't he, Tony? What? Yeah. Is that? Ooh, is this Fox? Hi, Fox. Look. Fox was playing outside when Franklin arrived. Franklin pointed nervously to the sky. I think we shouldn't go we should go inside, don't you? He asked. Not yet, Fox grinned. I love watching the clouds move and feeling the wind blow. It's exciting. I think it's scary, said Franklin. Franklin was really scared now, wasn't he, Tony? Yeah. Poor Franklin. Beaver, Snail, and Hawk came over to play too. My fur feels funny when it's about to storm, said Fox. My feathers get all ruffled, said Hawk. Beaver sniffed. I can smell a storm coming. <laughs> Each person's guessing when the storm's gonna come. <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah. yeah. Me! <laughs> Are we scared of the storm too? <laughs> What about you, Thomas? Are we scared of the storm? Ew. No. Okay. Oh, the rain's here. The wind became stronger. Hawk flew, loop the loops, wee, he cried. Franklin held on to his hat and shivered. It was almost as dark as night when big fat raindrops began to fall. We should go in, shouted Franklin. No, said Fox, follow me. Franklin's really getting worried. See his umbrella? <laughs> the wind blew it upside down. <laughs> That's funny. Whoa. I can see a Th They raced to the treehouse where it was dry. Fox called his mother. Time for everyone to come in. It's all right, Fox shouted back. We're in the tree. Fox's mother was there in a second. It's dangerous to be near a tree during a storm, she said. Lightning strikes tall things first, and you might get hurt. So what does that teach us, boys? When it's lightning and it's late and it's raining? We never hide under a tree or the 
Exactly. Okay, lightning will touch the tree, and then you will get lightning. You never hide under a tree, or then you'll be hurt. Hurt, and you'll be super hurt, and then you'll go to the hospital. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, they're racing to come down. Look, look, look. So this is them playing in the treehouse, right, Tony? You know, look, okay. we read that, but... Sorry, I forgot. Um, okay, Franklin held on to Fox's mother all the way from the tree to the house. They were barely in the door when there was a flash of zigzag light. Lightning shrieked, Franklin. Lightning speed! He, he trembled. Kaboom! Thunder! He screamed. Franklin's really getting worried. Poor Franklin, don't be worried. What do you think, Tony? It's okay, Franklin, said his friends. We're safe here. But Franklin had crawled deep inside his shell. Fox's mother brought treats. Still, Franklin wouldn't come out. Franklin's friends, Franklin's friends begged him to play, but Franklin stayed put. Do you guys see Franklin? He's hiding in his shell. <laughs> Poor Franklin. <laughs> when turtles get scared, what do they do, guys? Yeah. What do they do, Tony? They, just... <laughs> <laughs> they hide their head into the <laughs> into their shell. Then with a flash and crash, the lights went out. Don't worry, said Fox's mother. She lit candles and turned on a flashlight. Won't you come out now, she asked Franklin. No, thank you, he mumbled. No, thank you, he mumbled. Franklin was really worried. Poor Franklin. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Ooh, what is that? That looks pretty cool now, doesn't it? They're real. Don't be afraid, said Hawk. All that noise is just clouds, giants... All that noise is just cloud giants playing drums in the sky. Franklin peeked out. Really? he asked. No, it's not, giggled Snail. That noise is made when the giants go bowling. <laughs> so, so, look at this, guys. So, one of his friends thought it was giants playing the drums. <laughs> and the other friend, the snail, thought the giants were playing bowling. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy's doing drums, and this guy's doing something. Yeah, he's like boom, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom. And this guy's doing this. Right this guy. one's going boom, boom. And he's got right. Oh, what's this? What's this? Franklin came out of his shell, but what about that lightning? That's easy, said Hawk. The cloud giants are turning their lights on and off. Fox, Fox smiled. I think it's the giants swinging from their chandeliers. Franklin laughed. <laughs> Look, the giants swinging from the chandelier. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so funny. Look, guys, do you see something? Who's out of his shell? Franklin's out of his shell. He's not scared anymore, it seems, right? That's funny. Okay. Giants, that's ridiculous, said Beaver. Mr. Owl says lightning is a big spark of electricity that travels from the sky to the ground. The spark is so hot that it makes the air around it pop. That's the sound of the thunder. Amazing, said Franklin. There's Franklin with his flashlight. Franklin felt, Franklin felt a little better. He even played flashlight tag with his friends. Soon there was hardly any lightning. The thunder was a low rumble from far away, and the rain stopped. Then the lights went on. Storm's over, said Fox. Let's go outside and play. Look, said Franklin, a rainbow. So Franklin can see the rainbow. Are you guys ready to see the rainbow? Here's the rainbow. I knew why the storm is over, Franklin said. Those giants heard that there's a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow, and they've gone to find it. 
Even Beaver had a smile. <laughs> the end. See you on the next story. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching.